Thank you for choosing XTG as your x-ray solution. The successful completion of this training is required in some jurisdictions. As part of this training, study the manual in its entirety before operating XTG handheld x-ray. As the operator, it is your responsibility to ensure the proper and safe use of XTG. Complete any applicable exams or certificate of completion required by your jurisdiction. This training is presented under the assumption that operators have basic radiation training. This video will include the following. The XTG difference, XTG settings, proper positioning, safety, warranty, and technical support. The XTG provides your office with a new patient experience. This unit allows the operator to stay in the room with the patient. Explain to the patient that your office invests in technology that is safe, allowing the operator to now stay in the room while taking x-rays. Efficiency is important to both the patient and the office as this device will save you time taking your series of x-rays. The shoulder strap allows the operator to take an x-ray and adjust the sensor without putting the x-ray down, saving you time. The unit when worn cross shoulder distributes the weight throughout your back, making it lightweight, reducing operator fatigue. The control panel and display. Number one position is power on and off. Number two, patient size for adult and child. Number three is the ready status indicator. Number four is the KV type display. Five is the battery charge indicator. Six is the mode select the S button, seven is the up down exposure time control button, eight is exposure time slash error display, number nine is the tooth type display. Further details here on the side view of XTG, you'll see the number one position is your backup port, two position is MA measuring port, three is a hand switch connection port, and most importantly is four your charger connection port. That's where you'll plug this into the wall and use this to charge the unit. The bottom of the x-ray is a connection plate for arm mounting. Note that the backscatter shield on XTG is fixed. When charging the unit, a fully depleted battery takes approximately three hours to charge. Notice the red light on the charger will illuminate, then changing to green when fully charged. This system will not emit x-rays while connected to a charger. The XTG settings. Press the S button to scroll through the different tooth types. The up and down arrow will change the exposure time for each tooth setting. Press the S button for two seconds, then press the S button again and the new exposure time will save. Notice as we go back to the molar setting, it is now saved to 0.28. To change from adult to pedo, press and hold the S button for two seconds. Press the power off button, the adult icon will flash. Press and release the S button and it will change to pedo. Now hold down the S button and it will save to the pedo mode. To change back to adult, press and hold the S button then press the power off button, press the S button again, and it will change back to adult. To save the adult setting, just press and hold the S button. It'll save and you'll see the ready sign. To change from digital x-ray sensor to phosphor plate or film, press and hold the S button, press the power off button two times, and you will see the bar flash. Touch the S button and two bars will show. This is the phosphor plate mode. Touch the S button again and it will show three bars. Three bars is your film mode. Press and hold the S button and it will save. When saved, notice again the ready sign will appear. To change back to digital x-ray, press and hold the S button Touch the power off button two times, then press and hold the S button and you will see that it's saved back to the one bar, which is your digital x-ray. 
The battery life shown in the upper right side of the XTG with four bars showing the full battery life. Exposures, you should receive about 150 exposures throughout the day or the life of the battery before it needs to be recharged. The factory settings on XTG are set as a starting point. Deciding on the appropriate time settings, remember the Alara principle or as low as reasonably achievable. This means to set the exposure time as low as possible while still achieving an appropriate diagnostic exposure. There are several factors to consider when choosing an exposure time. Consider the image density preference, clinical quality preference, the various imaging sensors available, patient size, and practitioner techniques. Exposing an x-ray. XTG has two-step exposure button that has a safety that unlocks for five seconds. To unlock, just press and release the button. To take an x-ray, you will press and hold the exposure button until the system completes the series of beeps. Positioning. With every exposure, make sure the backscatter shield is parallel to the operator. You can use REN holders or bite tabs. If using a REN holder, we recommend the short REN bar. You want to be as close to the patient's cheek as possible with any image that you're taking. The traditional REN bars can be too long, causing the exposure to remain further away from the patient, resulting in a poor image quality. Bite wing image. For the bite wing, just keep your patient looking straight ahead. These next two positions may be exaggerated for demonstration purposes. The posterior mandibular PA, the patient will tilt their head up and to the side. Posterior maxillary PA, patient will tilt their head down and to the side. There are multiple positions for anterior PA for adult and pedo. First, adult. The anterior mandibular PA, patient will tilt their head up. The anterior maxillary PA, patient will tilt their head down. You can also turn the patient sideways in the dental chair to ensure the backscatter shield remains parallel to the operator. To take the full series, you may choose to place the patient in a stool where you can maneuver around the patient, maintaining proper position with each exposure. Pedo anterior images, you can position the patient in the chair facing forward. If you are left-handed, you can turn the unit sideways and expose using your left hand. Disinfecting XTG, you can wipe this unit down with a non-alcohol wipe such as a sani cloth. You can use a sheath to cover the strap, blue tape for the side strap, or a bag to cover the entire unit. Battery replacement. Simply remove the two screws on the bottom of the XTG, remove the battery, and replace. This can be done in office. Warranty. One year warranty on XTG covers all manufacturer defects. The warranty does include drops and the battery for the first year. Extended warranty is available. Contact your local digital doc territory manager for more details. Log on to our website, www.digi-doc.com for more information or call 1-800-518-1102 between 8 a.m. and 5 p.m. Central Standard Time for any technical support needs. In summary, only trained operators should be allowed to use XTG, review the XTG user manual, follow all safety recommendations, stay in the safe protection zone, sight through the backscatter shield. If you are not able to stay in the protective zone, you should wear protective clothing. Secure the XTG when not in use in its locked case. Follow all rules for radiation safety in your local jurisdiction and register the XTG with the appropriate agency. Thank you for purchasing XTG. We appreciate your business.